Hi, this is Malik Carrington from the Transit Arts and Central Community House showing you how to make sea creatures with watercolors. First, you'll get your paint out, put that to the side. Then let's start with the outline of the fish. I feel like using blue. So, first, making the outline of the fish. I don't like to start with the body. So I'm gonna do a oval shape, a half of an oval shape. So I'm gonna go all around here. And you can make it any size you want to. As you want to, I'm gonna make it a little bit small. Not too small, but just about that size. And I'm stop right here. That's gonna be like the tip of the mouth. And then I'm gonna do the other half, not touching, cause that's where I'm gonna connect the tail. But I'm gonna do the other half, the same oval shape. And then I'm gonna stop right here for the tip of the mouth. Then I'm gonna start with the tail, kind of making a triangle shape. But then for this side right here, I'm just gonna curve. And I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna make this match. And then I'm gonna bring this in like that. And then I'm just gonna attach it. Then I'm gonna draw another half of a oval shape, but it's gonna be inside now to separate the face from the body. Do that like that. Cool. Now I'm gonna draw my eye. You can place the eye wherever you want. Put that right there. Then I'm gonna do the fin right here. And then I'm just gonna decorate the fish however I want. Still do a little something like this up top like that. And then something like this on the bottom. And there you are, there goes your fish with the crane on. Now it's time to bring out the watercolors. So have your little tray of water. Get the brush wet a little bit. I think I'm gonna use the blue again. Wet that a little bit more. Now, be careful. And just outline what you did with the crayon. And if you need more water to get more to grab more paint, just keep doing that. It's a lot of back and forth going on here. Mm -hmm. Let me not forget the fin. Now let's wipe off the brush so we could get a new color and we won't mix our cherry palettes. Our color palettes. Mm -mm. And I think I want to use mm, yellow. Let's do that. Maybe my fan is yellow as well too. Get more water if you need it. Probably in the bottom here is yellow as well.
this light water, by the way. Keep that in mind. And I think I'm done with the yellow. Now I'm going to yet again wipe off the yellow so I can use another color and I won't mix my paint palette. And I think I'm going to go for a little bit of the purple. Add some water. Just a little bit, a tad bit. And I think I'm gonna put it on the body. I think I need more paint. Let's see the light. Let me stop right there. I think I'm gonna make the face green. So wipe off the purple. Let's add a little bit of green. Just a little bit of water and there we are. And you could decorate your fish however you want. I'm just trying something new and I believe it came out great. And then for the eye, let me wipe it off again, yet again. And then put a blue dot for the eye. I feel like that was a little too much water. See if you could dap it a little bit. That's another thing too. If you feel like you make a mistake, you could also get a paper towel and try to dap it a little bit. And let's try that again. Same thing. If you feel like putting another color on it, just give it a chance to dry first. I'll say about like at least five minutes, come back to it and then work at it again. Do that and I'm just gonna grab some more paint with less water or no water and then just dap it like that after you're done making your fish now you can cut it out and be real careful you don't want to cut into the fish you don't want to cut into all your hard work <laughs> There you go with that, cut with that. And then if you feel like you need to take your time, go ahead and take your time. No rush. Into the corner here, make it real clean. Let me go over this again, get rid of this point. Go around, make a curve. I'm not exactly on my outline. I am on the outer part of it. Now I'm gonna cut that off right there too. I don't want that anymore. Also gives you a chance to clean up the mistakes that you made while you was painting the outline of the fish. Cut those mistakes right off. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now it's time to make the background. I already started on mine, but I'm gonna add a little more, a little more water here to the edge, light water again, like 
like we did with the fish. Then just make the blend a little more. Make it a little more like that as well too. How we want it. And just play with it, have a little fun with it. I actually have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna get more of the paint this time. Right here. So once it dry, you can see it. So it won't be as light once it dries. Add more right here. using the green so I'm gonna use the orange actually make a little orange starfish over here you get more paint actually this time As you can see, my water is getting muddy, so let me go get new water. After you're done decorating the background, you can get your cutout fish and put them wherever you want. I'm gonna place this one right here, up top. I made a couple, by the way. Now I got this one right here. Be mindful not to tear your sea creature. Be real delicate, be real cool. Got it. <laughs> Take your time. And that should be good. I'm gonna add this one right here, right next to it, above. Here we go again, another fish that I have. It gets a little tricky. And then also I made little bubbles for the fish that I made. So let's do that. I'm gonna match this red one with the red fish. Like that. And then I also have some green bubbles for the green fish that I outlined. Make sure your fish is completely dry before you cut it. As well. Mm -hmm. All right. And here we are. Got some of my sea creatures down here. Got some fish up top. And you could create your own sea creatures. Just look it up on your Google Chrome and should be straight. <laughs>